So what we're going to do is we are going to chat firstly, just revising the first reason that we did. So <clears throat> I'm just going to move over this way. If we just think back to our first lesson, if you were here and if you weren't here, this is a nice little recap for you. The very first geometric reason with straight lines that we learned about was angles around a point. Okay, now angles around the point basically tells me that if I have one central point where I then have like multiple angles coming off that point or being formed around that point, if I add all of those angles together, I should get 300. And 60 degrees. That is what that geometric reason says to me. Now, this sort of makes sense, right? If I go and have a look at this wonderful diagram I've drawn for you, if you were to trace sort of that path of adding all of those angles together, what I form is a circle. And we know that a circle contains 360 degrees. You can also think of it like a, um, a revolution. We know a revolution has 360 degrees. And so if we're going all the way around a point, it makes sense then that I get 360 degrees. Now, just to remember a couple things. In geometry, the second you make your first like, statement or your first step of working out, you have to give a reason. So in this case, and because it's math, we don't really mind too much if you start abbreviating things or you don't use full sentences, that's fine. This reason here would be angles. So it's like a lopsided L represents angles round a point and point we can abbreviate to pt obviously guys if you write it out in full that's absolutely fine but it's more just a way to save some time when we're in our assessments okay so that was the first reason that we had a look at on monday so if you were here hopefully you remember that if you weren't here that's cool um you now know it so let's just recap by doing two questions over here so my first question is this diagram over here. And what I'm wanting you to find is this value of X. So I'm actually gonna ask that you give it a try by yourselves. I want to know what the value of X is. You might have, no, actually there's only one way you can do this. So based on the reason that we've just discussed, I would like you to give this question a try. And if you're feeling brave or if you would like to, please do raise your hand so that you can share with us what your answer was. Okay, and guys, don't forget that when you are doing geometry, you have to be giving reasons for your answer. You get marks for that. You also lose marks for that if um, you don't have a reason. Hey, sorry, my peps, I am back. And let's no, just say, do I have more hands up there wanting to answer, I guess? So let's choose who haven't we talked to. Oh, all of you, actually. All <laughs> of people. Let's have all your hands, I see first. So you may go. Okay, let's have a, we are all yours, teachers. Let's see what you got. Hi, Litabo. Okay, Litabo, somehow you're, and you muted yourself again. So, Pumzile, I'm going to come to you. Can you teach us on how you can answer this question? Ma'am? Um, this is not about answering. Um, my phone is busy telling me I'm being blocked by a firewall or proxy, and it's been logging me in and out. Uh, sorry about that, but remember we have this lesson recorded, so no worries at all. Um, you can just come in and out, and if you don't get enough details, you can get this video within 24 hours uh, posted on the website, on a WhatsApp website, okay? So you can watch it, so no worry at all. I'm going to jump in there, guys, because I didn't say it in the introduction. All of the videos from all of the courses that we have already done are on Mutobi's website. So as Yolanda says, you can always go back and rewatch for studying or if you missed a course, they're all there for you. So please do go have a look at those. 
Litabo wants to answer. Litabo? Yeah. Oh, Litabo sends us out. <laughs> you don't want to talk? Oh, I'm feeling sad. I came from a class where everyone was raising yeah. their head. <laughs> Let's give but it a try. I'll see your answers on the chat. Who is brave to actually talk to us? Can I maybe oh, ask? Get it wrong. We're going to help you throughout everything. So we just need you to be brave to raise your hand. That's all that you need to do. As a starting point, oh no, never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Sorry. No. Sanele is like, I'm here, ma'am. I'm here. Awesome. Sanele, save the day. Hey. Hi, Hi. ma'am. Hi. Can you hear me? We hey. can. Uh, <laughs> um, the how I did it was um I said five eggs plus um uh one fifty degrees with uh plus ninety degrees since okay can I stop there. you there for two seconds where did you get that ninety from it's because of the angle because there's Good. a square exactly well, you guys remember that square means ninety okay carry on Snele so plus um, ninety then I said it equals to three hundred and sixty degrees. And your yeah. reason? Uh, uh, because uh, angles around the point. Awesome. Yay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then I plus the 150 degrees with the 90 degrees. Okay. Which was uh, two, 240. Awesome. Let's go. Let's do this. Equals 360. Then I said 360 degrees minus 240. Cool. Yeah, beautiful. Which I got one, 120, 120 awesome. degrees. Yeah. Then I divided uh, uh, five eggs by, by five and 120 degrees by five. Awesome. Yes, which I got, then I got 24. Yes, awesome. <laughs> well, and you have like your own personal cheerleader here tonight with you, Linda. It is amazing. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know how I did it because I'm in the car without a book. <laughs> you little superstar. Well done. done. That's awesome. Well done. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, guys, math can happen anywhere. No excuses. Well done. I have to raise the bar for yeah. everyone. Right? <laughs> you be careful. <laughs> well done, Sadele. Well done. Okay, guys, I actually thought that was a really, really good explanation. So I don't really feel I need to go into too much detail. Essentially, you use angles around a point. You can set up your equation because you know that by adding all of those angles together, you should get 360 degrees. And then you just solve for X. It's like solving an equation. The really important thing here was that we remembered that that little block, that little square over there, represents an angle of 90 degrees. So I don't have to put the degrees in. I can just put in the little block and I expect you to know that it's 90. What is really important to remember? Your reason. No reason, no mark. We're very harsh. Alrighty. Well, I'm a, take screenshots, remember? Take screenshot like this. You have it somewhere. Screenshots, everyone. There we go. Okay, now guys, sometimes um, just... As a reminder, sometimes we can do things slightly differently. In this case, you really could use, uh, no, you could really only use angles around a point as your reason, but sort of this setup step over here might look a little bit different for some of you. And that's absolutely fine. There will be some questions where you can use lots of different reasons to get the same answer, which is also absolutely fine. But your setup might look a little bit different in this question, and that's cool. As long as you've used angles around a point in some way and you've gotten your um, answer of x equals 24, absolutely fine. All righty. So let us have a look at a second one. Right. You can do this. Again, I'm going to ask you to try it by yourselves. I will give you a little hint here in that if we look at this diagram, we can see we have the central point over here. And so I know if I go all the way around that point and draw some weird circle, I'm gonna try again, all the way around that point, I should get 360 degrees. This one's a little trickier, but I know you guys can do it. So that's why I've given it to you. So have a try. Two minutes, I reckon should be more than enough time. And then 
if you want to raise your hand to give us an answer, that would be awesome. Remember your reasons. Our people are clever. They are going to nail this watch. Mm -hmm. I promise you they will nail it. Someone will explain it to us and we're all going to understand. So I am waiting. I'm waiting. I'm like your chin leader today. Okay, guys. <laughs> you really yes. are. Can do it. Guys, just I quickly, on Onati's asked a question in the chat, which I think is a really important question. And so that's why I just want to chat about it. Onati's asked, do all, all the X's have the same answer? And the answer is yes. Because they are all the same variable, every X in that diagram will have the same value. Obviously, once you substitute in your value for X, over here and over here and over here, the whole angle will be slightly different, but the, the actual value of X itself will be the same because they are all the same variable. If for example, this had been a Y, then X and Y would be different, but because they're all the same variable, it has the same uh, value. Just want to clarify that. Let's do this, my peeps. Let's do it. Okay, and I'm waiting for some hands. Yeah, have so many see. hands in the last lesson. Let's see who's brave, see. guys. Remember that I'm here. I won't let you fall. I'll right. be with you. Ayanda's like, yes, ma'am, I am here. Ayanda. Yes, three. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Um, so, ma'am, you, um, oh. your equation will be X, I mean, three, okay. X minus 75 plus X plus X plus 45 equals to 360. And your reason? It goes around the point. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then after you group it and then you get three X equals to 360 plus 75 minus 45. Good, well done on those inverse operations. And then you get 390, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. 3x equals to 390, and then you divide it by three on both sides. Good. I'm with you, keep going. <laughs> and then x is equals to 30. 130. 130. Awesome. Woo! Well done, Andrew. Well done. My baby okay. deserves it for you guys. Excellent. <laughs> guys, well done. Well done. My <laughs> okay, so exactly. X is equal to 130. And as I said, all of those X values are 130. So what this means is that this whole angle is 130 because that whole angle is X. Uh, let's change a color here. This angle over here is then 130 plus 45, so 175. And then our third angle, which is this one, is 130 minus 75. So really what I'm doing here is I'm uh, substituting into those expressions, which means that this angle is 55 degrees. So once you have X, you can then go work out the individual angle sizes, but as we said, X is the same value because it's the same variable. Right, well done. That was awesome. That was a tricky one. So well done, guys. Awesome, awesome work. Right, can I just check though before we go on because this was a little bit of a tricky one and I don't want to leave any questions unanswered. Are we feeling good? Are we feeling bad after this? Do you have any questions that you would like to ask? Otherwise, we're going to have a look at our next reason. So thumbs up, thumbs down in the chat. How are you feeling? Awesome, 100%, Theo, nice. Good. Okay, and guys, well, if, you, if you aren't feeling 100%, please remember to ask questions, whether it's on the chat directly to me or Yolanda or raising your hand and actually asking us, please, please do, um, because this is, is this, hmm. This is a very important section and it's going to continue to be a very important section all the way up to matric. So we really want to get this stuff right now. Um, but obviously it all comes with practice. So if you're just feeling like you just need some more practice, that's absolutely fine. You will do more both in school and here. 
and we will be sorted. Okay. Right, remember, just because I see the question on the chat, this sort of step over here was because I wanted to bring the, seven, the negative 75 to the right and the positive 45 to the right as well. So using my inverse operations, I now do the opposite of what it was. So I add 75 and subtract 45 so that I could start solving for x. Okay. Right, Lissetti, I see your question. I got 130 because then I divided my answer when I subtracted and added 75 and 45 to 360, and I got 390. I divided by three in order to get that X alone. And so what I do on one side of my equation, I have to do on the other side, and 390 divided by three is 130. So it's that division by three that gets me my final answer of X. Okay. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Just a quick reminder to everyone. So if you know you haven't watched the lesson, last lesson, which it was on Monday, before you do the quiz, my peeps, I advise you to go watch the lesson and then maybe you can rewatch this one if you didn't understand quite nicely and then you can do your quiz, okay? So that's just a hint, hint. We can go. We can move on. My peeps, awesome. well done. Though. Okay, guys. So ooh, ooh, ooh. let us have a look at our next reason that we're going to look at today now there's two reasons here i wouldn't stress about trying to get it all done just take a screenshot as yolinda says um and then you've got this information um the first reason is the one that i really want to focus on today because this is the reason that we'll use more than the second one but we'll chat about that in a second so our first reason that i want to chat about is angles on a straight line Okay, so basically what this reason says to me is that if I've got two angles next to each other on a straight line, like that. if I've got two angles next to each other and they have to be next to each other on a straight line, if I add those two angles together, I must get 180 degrees. Now, some of you would have learned this as adjacent angles are supplementary. That's a perfectly valid reason. Adjacent means next to, supplementary means 180. So basically, the angles next to each other add to 180 degrees. The reason I'm going to use is angles on a straight line. Basically means exactly the same thing. So the reason for this sort of statement would be angles on a straight line. Remember in maths, we don't have to write things out in full and we can use symbols, so that's cool. Now, this reason makes sense because if I think about the reason we did last week and what we've just recapped, if we've got angles all the way around a point adding to 360 degrees, if I now draw a straight line, those angles on the straight line add up to 180. Now, that sort of makes sense. This straight line is cutting my circle in half and half of 360 is 180. So this sort of reason links to what we've just done with angles around a point. And it then sort of hopefully makes sense for us why it equals 180 degrees. So this is the reason that we're going to have a look at sort of today. Now, I just want to redraw that because that wasn't very pretty. It's even worse. Right. This is the reason that we're going to have a look at now angles on a straight line. The second one I really just put here because I think it's important to be aware of the fact that it exists, but it is not one that we use often. So I wouldn't stress too much about it, but it is important to know about it because if it does pop up, you understand what it is asking you. Complementary angles are angles that are, again, next to each other, so adjacent angles, that when we add them together, give us 90 degrees. So if I look at my diagram there, the 40 plus the 50 gives you 90. That reason is called complementary angles. Basically, complementary means that when we add them together, they give us 90 degrees, right? Now, the reason this reason isn't used all that much is often because when we're working with a 90 degree angle, we actually just give you that symbol there. So you automatically know it's 90. Or we give you sort of like a straight line situation where we tell you that one of them is 90, which means that if it's on a straight line, logic would tell me that that also has to be equal to 90 because it's a straight line 
So we know that it has to add up to 180 degrees. So this is not a reason we use often. We've got an example where we'll look at it and how to use it, but um, I wouldn't stress too much about this reason. This is the really important one we need to take away. I just wanted to show you complementary angles so that you're aware it exists and should it pop up, you know that you can use it as a reason, but it really isn't one we use all that often. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples of how we use these reasons. If you need to screenshot this, do it now so that I can move on. Cool. So let's have a look. Oh, golly. Let's have a look at our first example here. Okay. We're going to start off nice and easy and then we'll get to the nice fun ones. We have got a diagram here that has two angles that are next to each other. And I'm just going to make a little note here because I'm going to start using the word adjacent a little bit more often. So if angles are next to each other, we say that they are adjacent. So the angle X and the angle 50 are adjacent to each other. Okay, so my question here is what is the value for X? Okay, cool. So I look at my diagram and I see, well, I'm working with a straight line. I've got a horizontal line down here. That's a straight line, which means that if I'm adding the angles next to each other on the straight line, I have to get 180 degrees. So now I can set up my solution or my equation in order to solve for X. So I know, and I'm seeing some beautiful answers on the chat, I know that X plus 50 degrees has to give me 180 degrees. Now I can't just leave it at that, I have to give my reason. And my reason in this case is angles on a straight line. And remember guys, you can abbreviate. No reason to write out full sentences. We are fine with that in maths. From this point, I now solve for X. So what I need to do is I need to subtract 50 on both sides. So I need to take 180 minus 50, and that will then give me X as 130 degrees. Now, grade eights, remember you can double check yourself. If you now take this value for X and you put it back into your diagram where X was, if you add 130 and 50, we know we should get 80. And 130 plus 50 does give me 180. So I know that I have done this correctly. Okay. Right, so I'd like you to try this Actually, no, I move very quickly. Take a screenshot if you need. And when you are ready, I'd like you to try the second one below that. You've got three angles here, 60, X, and 80. I would like the value of X. You can pop it in the chat if you're feeling brave. I would love for someone to raise their hand and um, give us an answer and explain how they got their answer. But um, give it a try. Let's go, my babes. You guys can do this. <clears throat> guys, I'm just I'm experiencing a little shitting. That's why I'm a little bit quiet. Because yeah. <laughs> I can see. Let's put those hands up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can already see some answers there. So I'm going to take you, Pumzile. Give us an answer. Teachers. Ma'am? Yeah. yeah. I said um, X plus 60 plus 80 degrees equals 180. Okay. And your reason? Angles on a straight line. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Uh, then I added 60 plus 80. Okay. I said X plus. 60 plus 80, which is um, 120. 40. 40, sorry. Equals 180. Mm -hmm. Then I said 180 minus 140. Good. Equals 40. Awesome. Well so done. we agree that X equals 40. Yes. Well done. You nailed it. Well done. Awesome. And I saw lots of 40s coming through. So well done, guys. That's great. Okay. And we move. Okay. Now, um, 
again, that was a really good explanation. So I don't think I need to do too much. Essentially, though, what we just needed to see in this was that if we add all three of those angles together, and really importantly, we can see that we can do that because they're all next to each other. They're all adjacent to each other. And that's very important for angles on a straight line. Because they're all next to each other, because they're on a straight line, I could add them up and know that I have to get 180 degrees. So that's why I use my reason, angles on a straight line. Set up your equation and you solve for x. Okay, awesome, well done. Right, so take a screenshot if you need. And then I'd like you to have a go of this third question. A little bit meaner now because you've got x and x plus 60 as your two angles. But look at your diagram, see what you can potentially use as your reason. And remember that when you're writing your answers down, you have to give those reasons. That's really, really important. So give this a try and then we will take a little break. Kendra is ready with the stretches. Guys, we can do this. Ayanda, I promise you next time you are answering this question, okay? I see your hand, just keep it there. Everyone in the chat, let's see what you get first before Ayanda can explain to us how did she get the answer. Oh, how did he get the answer? Sorry, I don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> I have a tendency of doing that. But my tips, I'm proud of every one of you. So remember that you're writing down everything. The more you write down and exercises, the more all these rules stick. Because remember, we are adding upon rules upon rules. So I hope you are writing down on your paper or your book. Like Kendra is doing right now. I see some writings over there. But let's see, let me start seeing some answers. There we go, Ghosty, I see you, I see you. Anyone else, anyone else answering on the chat before we give Ayanda a chance to answer? I'm just gonna jump yeah. quickly on what Yolanda said there. Guys, as, we, as Yolanda said, you, we're gonna do lots of geometry reasons. And so what might be quite useful is to have like a little separate piece of paper. And each time we do a new reason, you write it down. So every time we do a new reason, you sort of, and now my screen has decided to freeze, you sort of write down a little diagram or a little description with the reason. So you've got like almost a little cheat sheet for yourself. Um, yeah. So that as we do more and more, you have it there that you can refer back to and so that you know what you're working with. Exactly. So Ayanda, we are all yours. I saw um, like a lot of different answers on the chat, but let's see what Ayanda got. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi. So ma'am, um, my equation will be x plus x plus 60 is equal to 180 because of angles on a straight line. Love that we're just giving that reason yes, as so. a second nature. Good angles on straight. Okay, cool. Keep going. And then it will be 2x is equal to 180 minus 60. Yes. So. Good. And then it will be 2x is equal to 120 divided That's by two on both sides. Okay, cool. And then my answer will be x is equals to 60. Fantastic. Wow. Well done, Ayanda. Awesome. Well Thank explained. You. Well done. I'm proud of you. Okay, exactly, guys. So we know that we've got angles on a straight line. We know if we add them together, they have to give us 180 degrees. And so um, we can set up our equation using that reason. And sort of, as I said now, that reason needs to become automatic. The second you make a statement, you have to give that reason. We don't want to lose marks unnecessarily. And then we go and solve our equation. So exactly X is equal to 60. And remember, you double check yourself by putting it back into your diagram. So 60 and then 60 plus 60. And make sure that if you add that all up, you do get 180, which in this case you do. Awesome. Well done, grade eights. You're doing so well. Righto. So let's take a little break. Kendra is ready with the stretches. That is your brain break for today when you're ready. If you are new, a brain break is basically just us taking a break from what we're doing, giving us a chance to stretch, run to the loo if we need to run to the loo. And I always give like a little brain tease or a little like math problem that you can try. If you don't get it, you don't have to stress about it at all. It's just something that you can try, give yourself a break from the geometry that we're doing. And then we carry on with the work. Okay, Kendra's got his stretches. Oh, 
Is yeah, it? those are lovely stretches, Kendra. Well, everyone is stretching and trying to figure it out. The joke, which triangle is the coldest and isosceles triangle? <laughs> I wanted to save it for when we did triangles, but I just thought it was too good. Yeah, it's really too good. Oh, my <laughs> word. Oh, is this joke is so cool. Maybe you haven't done triangles yet, so maybe you don't understand. But basically, we're getting there, so stay tuned for triangles. Stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> you will laugh at this joke when we get there. Anyone wanting to raise their hands to answer these uh, brain break? What are we calling our brain break class? I wonder if you guys have a name. I know my foundation class is calling it BB. So our brain break is BB on the foundation class. What do we want to call it? We had lots. What do we have? We had brain freeze, brain teaser, brain exercise. Yeah, relief. <laughs> oh Uyanda is ahead of us <laughs> Uyanda, we're gonna get this soon enough hang yeah. on <laughs> it's coming anyone who wants to answer this bb guys you can raise your hand you can uh, put it on the chat what is that triangle the square the circle i'm just writing all of your suggestions down because otherwise i forget Oratile says it's a brain breather. I like that. <laughs> and Jose says it's a BRBR. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you guys are so funny. At least Theo gets the joke. Theo, thank you. I appreciate a good laugh at my joke. Ah, Riaveto is already one. answering. Riaveto, do you wanna do you wanna raise your hand so you can explain to us how you did get that answer? Ah. <laughs> Lilita says his brain size. <laughs> I'm glad you said it out loud because I was trying to work out how to say it. Guys, raise your hand. Or oh, did you some can just put what you guys are putting? Okay, I see Ayanda's hand. Ayanda, help us save the day. <laughs> oh, ma'am. Hi. So, ma'am, the triangle will be 30. Mm -hmm. Why? Because 60 divided by 2 is 30. Okay, good. So just give me two seconds, guys. This is a scale. So basically, we want it to be equal on both sides. So exactly as I said, if we want two triangles to equal 60, we would divide it by 2 in order to get an equal value for both. Okay, cool. Ayanda, continue. Um, then the squares are 6. Okay, cool. So we know that it has to equal 30. And if we have five sixes or five times six, we get 30. Awesome. Keep going. And then the circle is 36 because we've got six squares. Excellent. We can see we've got six orange squares, which means six times six is 36. So our green 36. circle is 36. Awesome, Ayanda. Thank you. Well Ayanda. Thank you. you. Okay, guys, so that's basically a brain break, brain exercise, BB, mind stretch, brain breaker, BRBR. Right. I've got them all written down. I won't forget now. So if you get it, you get it. If you don't, as long as you try, and I am happy as anything. Okay, let us continue on with our questions. So this number four is the example that I sort of mentioned earlier with the complementary angle. Like I say, it is not a reason that we use often and I'll explain it in a second. So I feel pretty confident you could all very easily tell me what X is. So I'll give you like 30 seconds to tell me what X is or X should be equal to. You can put it on the chat, you can raise your hand, whatever you would like. Mozilla, I see your hand. Do you want to tell us? I got, ma'am, I got 20. Awesome. Great. Excellent, guys. So we, it has to be equal to 20. Now, the reason that I know that is because it's got that square there, right? We spoke about the fact that that square means 90 degrees. So I automatically know that X is equal to 20 degrees. Now, the reason would technically be complementary angles, so comp angles, 
But realistically, because I have given you that square, I have already told you that it is 90 degrees, which means that you don't actually have, a, have to give the reason because I've already told you it's 90. So this is why I'm saying that we don't often use this reason because often we give you the square and so you automatically know it's 90. But just be mindful of this is how we could use this reason in an example where we know that two angles or more angles add up to 90 degrees, right? So complementary angles because they add to 90. I just wanted to show you so that you're aware of it. But like I said earlier, not something we use often, but now you know how to use it if you ever need to use it. Right, awesome. So let's have a look at our next one. I'm going to ask that you try this by yourselves. Pop on the chat your values for X and Y, when and if you are ready. And I'd love to have some hands raised to tell us how you got your answers. And guys, what's really important is that for something like this, especially when I have two unknowns, there are often different ways that you can do it. So just be mindful of when we do go through the answer or when someone gives us the answer, um, yours might be a little bit different and that's absolutely fine. Alrighty. So have a try. Remember all of your reasons for mm. what you're doing. Guys, we have a spicy one. Oh, this is this makes me feel off think of hot wings. For some reason. <laughs> you know, like where you eat hot wings and it's so nice, but it's like piri piri nice. <laughs> That's what I feel about this question. Okay, give it a try, my pips. You guys can do this. I believe in you. All the rules that we have done, um, just say maybe we can cheat and put the golden rules there so that they can choose which one they want to choose. Okay, <laughs> I feel so sorry for my people, as you can see. I want to yeah. cheat yeah. and Lend give them like us. the golden rules. <laughs> okay, so the rules we have done so far are angles around a point. Mm -hmm. So you have to choose the best one, okay, that you can use to solve this question. Ayanda, I see you, I see you, but it's, uh, I also want to spread the love, you know? So you, you can stand there, but other people who want to answer all this, also this question, I'm all yours, guys, because Ayanda has been saving us the whole lesson. So anyone, please, you're more than welcome. So we have learned these two rules. Just make sure you use any of them or both of them, if you like, but you need to see which one you can use to find X and Y. Let's and go if my you pips. were listening to Yolanda there, she's given you a clue of what you actually need to do here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Golden rules. The answer is there in front of you. Let's go. I see Kenji is thinking really hard. <laughs> my pips, you guys can do this. I believe in y'all. Got it, guys. Seen some answers coming through. Good. And I yeah. like that we are putting our reasons with our answers. That is great. Well done, my pips. Well done. Whatever you do, you put a reason. Okay. You guys are doing well. Oh, sorry, guys. Not bad. There we go. Any hands? Any hands? Anyone feeling brave? Ayanda, I know you're there. Anyone else feeling brave? Guys, we are straining Ayanda. We're using Ayanda. Can you anyone... get some good answers, guys? Yeah. They just have to be brave to raise their hand. Can I pick? Have... Can I pick, guys? Can I pick on the charts? I can pick. I can pick, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see who's here, who's here. Kaya Litle has got some good answers. Kaya Litle, Kaya Litle, maybe you want to put the, the hand up so we can unmute you, is that okay with you? Come on, we'll be here all the way with you. No pressure though, because we already saw your, your answer. Oh, there we go, thank you. Thank you, Kailita. You've been my day. I want to cry. Kailita, we are all yours. Hi, ma'am. Hi. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I feel like Linda's just 100. taking all the sugar today. She's so excited. It's so great. 
<laughs> Carly, let's tell me x. Ma'am, I found x to be equals to 40 degrees because angles on a straight line. Yes. Yes. Okay, and why? Ma'am, one, 180 degrees minus 140 degrees is equals to 40 degrees. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 100%. Good. Okay, I will write that down in a second. And what about the value for the variable y? Uh, Ma'am, I said 180 degrees minus 50 degrees is equals to 30 degrees. 130. Oh, yes, ma'am. 130 degrees. Sorry. Awesome. And your reason? Uh, angles on a straight line. Okay, guys, that was awesome. Kailitle. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done for saving the day. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Okay, so guys, there's actually a couple of things I want to um, point out here. Number one is in questions like this where it is a little bit easier to get to your answer. If you write down your answer immediately with the reason like I have done here, that is absolutely fine. So if you're feeling more comfortable with geometry and you're happy to go straight to the answer because the working out is quite easy, go for it. If not, keep doing all of your steps. So I'm just going to put the steps sort of beforehand so you can see what they would look like. So as Kaya said, um, for X, we would say X plus 140 should be equal to 180 degrees. My reason would now go here because that's the first statement that I'm making. And then we know that we would, oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit squished here. Let me just move some stuff. Then I know that all I would need to say to solve for X would be to subtract 140. Oh gosh, technology tonight. Would be to, would be to subtract 140 on both sides in order to solve for X. So I'd have 180 minus 140 and that then gets me to my answer of x equals 40. But again, if you are happy to go straight to your answer, absolutely fine. Okay, now for y, I actually didn't even think of angles on a straight line. I was going to use angles around a point. But angles on a straight line is absolutely fine. We can see we've got our angles here on a straight line. And so we know that y plus 50, if you want to write your working out, must be equal to 180. Your reason would then go at that statement because it's your first sort of statement in your working out. And then we know to get y, we would have to say 180 minus 50. You could also, as I have said now, use angles around a point because once you know x is 40, we know that if we add all four of those angles up, I must get 360. So you could actually use angles around a point to find either X or Y, depending on which one you started with. And this is what's quite cool in geometry. Sometimes we have different reasons for the same answer and they're all perfectly valid. So well done, guys. I saw some great answers there on the chat and you have done awesomely. Awesomely, that's probably not a word here have done amazing awesomely that's also good i'm proud of you <laughs> and just like yes i'm dancing kenji i hope you got four marks you got like four out of four for this question let's go let's move on by people let's move okay uh, guys if you need to take a screenshot quickly take a screenshot and let's have a look at our next one okay cool if it allows me to scroll so here's my next diagram. Not as hard as the last one, but we've got the angle 70, 80, and M plus 10. And I am asking you to find the value of M for me. So I think I will give you a minute. And then again, answers on the chat or raise your hand. You guys are doing awesomely with raising your hands and answering for us, which is really, really appreciated. We love to hear you guys talk and give us your answers. So we'd like to have some more hands. Remember your reasons, though, when you write down your answers. Let's go. Let's go. I can see Sino. Are you writing everything down? Wait, it's Sino Colo. Sino Colo. Dotuana. I can see you. I can see you. 
A shout out to you. I hope you're writing this question down. Give it a try. Mm. Give it a try, my guy. Give it a try. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what you get. I hope you're writing everything down, okay? Zalama is like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Zalama, yes. I am there with you. Okay, let's give Zalama a chance to talk us through this question. Y'all are doing amazingly. Oh, so proud of this class. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you, ma'am? Good, and you? I'm good, ma'am. So, ma'am, I did this. This is what I did. I said uh, 70 plus 80 plus M plus 10 gives me 180 degrees, right? Awesome. What's your reason? Um, and my reason is I'm going for a straight line. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Cool. Keep going. So when I said 70 plus 80 plus M plus 10, and then I got 160 when I did that. And then after that, I said 180 minus 160, and that gave me 20 degrees. Awesome. Well oh, done. done. Oh, you guys. You guys are going to yes. love geometry. I hope you do love it. I hope you do. You're going to nail it. Well done, man. Thank you. Awesome. Well done. Okay, guys, exactly. We know that if we're going to add all three of these up, I have to get 180 degrees. Set up your equation and you can solve for your answer. Awesome. Great eights. You are on fire tonight. Okay, let us see what we have next. I'm just scrolling because now I'm like, let's do something fun. Right. Let us have a go of this question Ooh. over here. Ooh. You see. <laughs> ah. Okay, so very importantly, P is what we're looking for. And P in both cases will have the same value. It's the same variable. So P is the same for both 3P and 2P minus 55. Okay. Remember your reasons. I won't quite shout at you just yet, but do remember your reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and then remember, guys, have that little cheat sheet for yourselves. It's super useful, especially when you're starting off with geometry. Y'all are doing good. Let me see. Let me see. I see the Tendega, Nisha, Likue. And I hope you are working well. I'm giving a shout out to you, Jabu. Riabetu, man. I used to like talk to you. <laughs> now I feel abandoned because Riabetu doesn't even raise his hand anymore. I Let's go, my pimps. <laughs> We can do this and course at the hands iPad. If you don't change your name, I'll call it the way that I see it. Msekiwa. Okay, let's see whose hand is up. Help us with this question. Guys, we, we can't we can't let Ayanda just uh, you know <laughs> Ayanda's been saving us all this time. Litabo, Ayanda, I love you so much and I'm so grateful. Litabo, I'm going to come to you. Ayanda, you know that if I don't have anyone, I'm like, Ayanda. <laughs> so, Ayanda is already my buddy, guys. <laughs> Litabo, let's do this. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Okay, so I said 2P minus 55 plus 3P plus 70 equals to 180. And what's your reason? And goes on a straight line. Yes. Yes. Yes, Zitabo. Okay, keep going. Awesome. Well done. So 2P plus 3P is 5P. Yes. So I moved minus 55 and 70 to the other side. So it's 180 plus 55 minus 70. Excellent. Yes. Well done. Well done. So then it's going to be 5P equals to 180 minus 15. Okay, okay, cool. I'm with you. I'm following you. 
And then it's 5p equals to 165. Yes. Cool. Let's go so this. Then, Let's do this little one. So then I divide by 5 on both sides. And, yes. and p is equal to 33. Excellent. Hey. Well done. Well done. You have saved the day. Well done. Y'all are awesome, my babes. Oh, awesome. Well done. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this was a little tricky because we had like two unknowns in different angles, which means that we needed to be careful when solving. But remember, like terms, so this is like taking us back to our algebra, the 2p and the 3p gave us that 5p. So that's where we got 5p from. Sorry, I've got like a fluff or a hair on my nose. Um, and then we basically just solve our equation. And what's really important now is that we remember that that value for p that I've just found we could substitute back in place of both of these P's to then find the size of the whole angle. So for example, this angle here of RKU, if you remember our labels for our angles, would be three times 33. So this whole angle that I've drawn in red is actually 66 degrees. And then if we want to find the size of angle JKR, we would substitute uh, 33 in place of p so 2 times 33 i also can't multiply tonight sorry everyone 3 times 33 is not 66 it is 99 apologies back to my angle jkr 2 times 33 minus 55 so that would now be 66 minus 55 which is 11 degrees so once you have your value for your variable, you can substitute it back into um, the diagram or into the expressions for the angles to find the sizes of those angles. Alrighty, so that's just important to remember. And the reason it's important to remember is you might need to do it to find another angle later on. A prime example of that being, and I'll come back to that question now in a second, a prime example of that being what we saw over here in that once you found X, you could have used X once you substituted it back to find Y if you wanted to. Okay, right. So I'll go back to that question in case you want to take a screenshot. And then, Yolanda, quiz time. One more. Um, definitely, I'll put the quiz there. Maybe we can squeeze another more. Okay, so guys, while you're taking that screenshot, I'm gonna do that. I'd like you to try the one below because we do have a few more minutes and you can definitely do it in that time. Yeah. A bit and trickier. Mm -hmm. and oh, if you want to put your, put your hand up to let us know, please do. But you guys have got this. Sinokono, my guy, let's hear from you. <laughs> do, do you want to raise your hand and talk to us? Because you know, I only see your face and I don't know whether you're holding your phone and I don't see any book or whatsoever. Hey, eh? you know, I'm, I'm picking on you. It's on it. <laughs> I'm picking on you know, guys today. Ayanda's on it tonight. Ayanda is just, Ayanda could have taught this lesson for me, I think. You know, I'm going <laughs> to give this one to Ayanda door. Ayanda, let's do this. Like okay. this, we are wrapping everything out. Guys, let's listen to our teacher. Ayanda, take over. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, ma'am, it'll, your equation will be X, um, X plus 30 plus X plus, ma'am, is that plus, yeah, plus 40 plus 2X plus 10 equals to 180 because angles on a straight line. See, I understand my job. Like you basically no. got this. Yeah, you on it, right? <laughs> angles on a straight line. Tell me. So your it'll be four x is equal to 180 minus 80. Oh, my writing. Yeah, <laughs> minus 80. Good. And one eight, and a hundred divided by four, and then four x is equal to twenty five. Excellent, oh, that girl. I hope everyone got that. 
Hey okay, guys. It's such a good teacher. I am done. Um, well done. See, now I know who to ask when I just don't want to teach. I am the come, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ana ya da. You all have nailed it tonight. Oh, I hope that everyone will have a nice dinner, okay? I hope I hope y'all will eat nice dinner tonight. You deserve it. <laughs> Okay guys I just quickly want to make sure because I under sort of was combining a few steps so just in the last like 30 seconds the 4x came from adding the like terms so x plus x plus 2x gave me 4x and then I understood that 30 plus 40 plus 10 is 80 and if I then take it over to the other side it has to become minus 80 just to clarify where we got those values from um everything else should hopefully make sense so and You can just put your quiz link on the chat so please have a look at that but as she said if you want to go rewatch videos before you try it do it but otherwise we will see you on Monday